All right, so uh, my name is uh, Sean Robinson. First, I want to thank uh, John and uh, Megan for allowing me the opportunity to uh, present quickly. My wife and I wrote a book called Dr. Dyslexia Dude because we really wanted to make my work more accessible for kids and families in special education. And so one of the big things was how can I get this work into the hands of boys, girls who are in special ed who feel hopeless and voiceless. And so um, this is Dr. Dyslexia Dude. There's only three slides. Really, the story originated because I first learned to read when I was 18 years old. I got kicked out of high school, got sent to an alternative high school. And when I did graduate, I graduated reading at elementary school level. That professor, Dr. Robert T. Nash, was the one that saved my, literally saved my life when I was a, a junior in high school. And he, he said, I had a gift. He said, I'm going to teach you how to read. So he taught me old school, Orton Gillingham, direct, explicit instruction on the board, no room for any errors. It was discipline. And so when he taught me to read when, when I was, after I finished, finally graduated high school, it took me 18 years to get my degrees. It took me six years to get my undergrad, five years for my master's, and seven years for my PhD. So I was in school 18 plus years after high school. So my work is truly to try to help kids find their voice. A lot of them see themselves as scholars, see themselves as being successful, and knowing that they can achieve anything as long as they have faith within themselves, and they can move forward and have the right support system. So I want to read just a page or two from Dr. Dyslexia, dude, and um, hope you enjoy it. As this turn approach, Sean could not understand what was being read and how the passages in the book were linked. While he was waiting his turn, Sean practiced reading and rereading the passage to make sure he did not sound stupid. The impossible task. It's your turn to read now, Sean. Why are you avoiding your teacher? What am I doing here? None of this makes sense. Sean, continue reading. Sean, continue reading. You can't. Sean is being attacked from both anxiety and dyslexia. Sean then blurted out some inappropriate curse words out of fear. I want to read this bleep. Leave me alone. Let me out of here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not dumb. Sean, go to the office. Sean has saved himself by getting removed from class. I imagine most of you teachers in here experience that with kids in your classrooms who avoid reading. Um, it's not anything that's hidden. Kids avoid reading when they feel like they can't or don't have the right resources. So I'm glad that all of you are here. And I'm glad the work that you do because you're putting the time and effort to save kids' lives. And that's the most important thing we're here for is to give kids hope. And so I'm thankful for the opportunity. And I'm excited to hear everyone and meet people. And uh, just thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.